No, after the 93rd minute winner against Kedemitsa last week, there must be a real positive mood around training this week. Yeah, I mean, to win a game like that, it's always going to have the spirits high. Yeah, the boys have been buzzing and we just want to play again. Yeah, and how important is it to sort of take that momentum into the game at Halifax on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, we've got to win back-to-back -back games and get a bit of a run going. So, yeah, we've got to use that high to go into that game and hopefully come back with the three points. And it's quite a long, long journey, the first one of the season. So... Do you feel like those sort of long journeys and that overnight saves help you and the lads bond a bit more as a team? Yeah, we normally uh, do a little bit um, the night before a game, little games and stuff, quizzes, and yeah, we get to gel a bit more. Yeah. And um, you personally, ha having scored those two goals already this season, you must be really pleased with that. And you've said how you want to add more goals to your game, so yeah, you must be really happy with that. Yeah, I think it definitely helps when you get off to a good start. Uh, it takes a little bit of the pressure off you and. Yeah, I think I'm obviously happy with the two I've got and obviously I want to add to them. Yeah, and fitness-wise, you mentioned how last season was quite stop stop-start for you. Um, so how pleased are you to have sort of maintained those fitness levels really well so far? Yeah, I think it was really hard for me last season. I couldn't really build any momentum. I would play around the games, pick up a little injury and then, then you've got to start again almost. So yeah, it was frustrating. Hopefully this season I can, I can stay fit all the way through and, and have a good season. Yeah, and Halifax, the opponents um, on Saturday, are the team we're used to facing at this level now. It's a difficult game. Um, what are you expecting from them? Yeah, they're, they're, it'll be a tough test. Um, obviously, we're going the travelling as well, but yeah, they're a good team. They're always in and around it. They've done well in recent years, so yeah, it'll definitely be a tough game. I know, um, but for the points deduction, you'd be on the same points as Halifax, so you must be hoping it would be a you know really closely fought contest. Yeah, it'll, it'll, like I said, it'll, it'll be a tough game. But yeah, we, we back ourselves against uh, most teams in, in, in this league. So yeah, we, we go there looking to win the game. Um, but yeah, it would be a tough test. Is there a bit of frustration when you know you're one of the best teams in the league and you're showing it in terms of form, but then you look at the league table and, and you're not where you maybe should be? Yeah, I mean, you, you can't say it's not frustrating because it is. Um, but you can only control what we can do on the pitch. And yeah, I mean, um, it is what it is. We've just got to carry on picking up points and, and see where we are coming in the season. Aaron Cosgrave is a player that's now at Halifax. Would be a familiar face. You'd be pleased to see. Yeah, yeah, he's he's done well here, and yeah, he's, he's a striker, very quick. So yeah, we'd be wary of him. And we mentioned the the long journey up there. What do you get up to to pass the time? Is it Netflix or is it is it card games the traditional way? Yeah, there's normally poker at the back. Uh, yeah, some card games and yeah, net, a few boys go on Netflix, and yeah, we we find ways to entertain ourselves. And. Um, Playing, you know, you started every game so far this season, I think, and you're getting your rhythm together. Showed, Khalid showed with that pass uh, to Harry Cardwell on at the weekend, so you must be buzzing to just keep going and, and have a brilliant season. Yeah, um, like I said, I've, I've started well and we've started re relatively well. We'd like to be on more points and stuff, but yeah, I mean, we've, we think it's a decent start, so yeah, we just want to build on it, me personally and obviously the team. Cheers. You've got two goals and two assists already. Has there been a conscious effort to get you further forward so your talents can hurt more? Or has it just sort of been a bit of a coincidence that that's happened? Or has that been a, a conscious effort that you're in the final third more often? Yeah, I think um, obviously I wasn't happy with my return uh, last year. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I think yeah, I need to break my um, break into the box late and, and try to get the end of those chances and, and play, uh, take those risks and play forward passes. I think it's something. I've obviously I've got and I've just need I just need to do it and on more consistent basis. And you mentioned linking up with Harry and that's someone that you've known yeah. well for, for for a number of years now. Yeah, yeah, we was in the same youth team. Obviously, he's started so well and we know the attributes he's got and yeah, I really enjoy playing with him and linking up with him. And that obviously helps. Was it three years you had together at Reading? Or? Yeah, yeah, we was uh, yeah around three years and yeah, we've we obviously know each other before we come. That defo helps and yeah, he's a top player. Was he someone you sort of stayed in touch with? So what was it like when you sort of teamed up together at uh, South End again after the Yeah, years? I remember the, the day we signed, I had no idea that obviously he was coming. I went to do my medical and he sat there as well. <laughs> it, was a, it was a funny moment. But yeah, we did keep in contact. We used to play against each other always, uh, when he was at Grimsby. Um, but yeah, it's obviously nice to be playing with him.